Yo, what's going on, boys? It's your big man back for another video on the right day this week. So, today we have NECA, uh, Back to the Future, Ultimate Doc Brown, I think it's just called. Yeah, Ultimate Doc Brown. Now, this figure, you may be thinking, I ain't never seen a Back to the Future figure on this channel before ever. And that's because I didn't think I was... All right, well, I wasn't going to get this guy... But I was planning on getting the Marty McFly when he comes out, and I still have not found it. But so, you know, this man is the first to grace the stage. So, uh, let me get the box out of the way quick, actually, because I'm so I'm excited. I'm I'm a little messed up because I'm excited here to show that. Ooh yeah, we scored this figure for eleven dollars on clearance. Boom, score. Uh, yeah, just other than that, it's just just score. Let's continue like nothing ever happened. So, the box here. Casual NECA box. I really like the design of it. Uh, the only problem is, all of the uh, Back to the Future figures have these, or this side. So, every time I go to the section, the NECA section, and I see them, I'm like, oh, it could be the Marty. And it's not. But I also really do like this box. A lot of cool stuff on the front. The clock tower. Some newspaper clippings. And on the inside, you get your usual. Nice open window packaging with the... Doc Brown on the right here, or left here, and then the, the, you look at the figure on the right. Getting that boring part out of the way and bringing the fun part back in here. Moving on to paint and sculpt on this guy. So, the paint and sculpt is really great. I think the head sculpts especially are some of the best I've seen. Very accurate, and they look very good. All the clothes have texture to it. The pants have a nice texture. The cloak... Not a cloak. We'll just call it a cloak. Is a nice dad sweater there. It's got some nice print on it. <clears throat> and I think the detail just really makes this figure so much better. Because it really looks like straight out of the movie. This man looks great. The only problem I have with the paint, and I don't really know how well it'll show up, but the neck, the, the face, it has like a, a wash kind of over it. It makes it look more natural skin tone with the texture. But the neck, it's just like they didn't paint it at all. It looks like they missed it out. It, it wasn't on the belt when it got painted. And it's that kind of cheap looking bland skin tone. Like Marvel Legends skin tone. And I think it just really sticks out. Because that's the really the only other part of skin that's showing. And it looks completely different. Unless I guess it's like a, a sweaty neck. I was just thinking that. But I don't even think that excuses it. <laughs> but that's the only real problem with the paint. And this, other than that everything looks great. All the paint, I haven't had any problem with paint rub, no problem with uh, like paint scratches or anything or bad paint on the figure already. And that for $11, it just keeps getting better and better. All right, so moving on to articulation with this guy. We'll bend him down a little bit so you can see. At the head, he looks up decently far, with even with his big hair in the way. He looks down pretty decent. He got a nice tilt because it's on a ball joint. You get all the articulation you may want. There is no neck uh, articulation at all, but it is a double a double ball peg, so you can get some shifting forward if you want. So at the arm here, uh, doesn't come out to the side very far. Uh, decent enough though, not much you need it for. A nice swivel all the way around, pretty tight. Uh, there is a swivel at the elbow here, so when you double join it, get a nice far end. You can move it around like that. And that's there instead of a bicep swivel. And I think uh, the first time I saw a NECA figure like this, I was a little bit worried because I'd rather have a, like a bicep swivel than a double joint like this. But after a while of using them and posing with them, it really doesn't seem to get in the way much. The only problem would be if you have it uh, turned off to the side a lot and there's plastic in the way, the plastic might get warped. So just be careful with that. Continuing at the hand here, there is a hinge and a swivel. Not much hand articulation, and on this guy, it's weird. It's kind of like there's a ball joint because you can get this, but I, I don't know if it's just that the cuff is loose or what. I don't know. Uh, I'm, I don't know if there's any ab articulation. I have not gotten any to move, so I do not think there is, but if there is, there is. At the legs here, moving the cloak, you can see it's nice and uh, malleable so it doesn't get in the way at all. Ooh, he kicks forward that far. Oh, have not used the legs a lot. That's why they're so crunchy. He kicks back pretty decently. And then at the knee here, single jointed knee. Oh, it's really creaky. Single jointed knee, but that works pretty decently. 
There is again a swivel here. Instead of like a thigh swivel, you have the knee swivel. Then at the ankle, there is a rotation at his sock here. You can see into the sock too. All that stuff inside moves. Uh, it moves forward that far. Moves back pretty decently. And he's got a nice ankle pivot, which of course is great because some NECA figures don't have ankle pivot and it just sucks. So for articulation, I think this guy has some really good articulation. And I think this shows again how much better NECA figures are getting. I think NECA is making leaps and bounds over here with some of these uh, like accessories and the price of their figures too. Unbelievable. So we'll move on now to accessories for him on the topic of accessories. Putting him off to the side, we'll start with interchangeable heads. So he comes with this interchangeable head that I think looks great. Uh, I really like the emotion and the character they can convey on this face. And all the high detail is great too. I forgot to mention it, but on his normal head, he's got the, the band-aids from when he fell off the toilet. Which is very nice detail. It's just extra that they didn't have to do. And you got this scar on this one. I think the detail and the movie accuracy is really great with these figures. So back to the head. Uh, same exact hair piece with the separate piece and this or this little groove here will come into play later both of the heads have it come into play for his accessories later on so for interchangeable hands he starts with these gloved ones he has two gripping glove hands and then he comes with these two open or uh, more loose skin tone hands that have watches on them my man doc brown got the drip drip is out here and I think the detail on it's pretty good too. The watch looks like it has a little bit of a wash on it. Can't really focus. We'll get this out of the way. Bring this one in. It's got a nice watch on it. The detail is nice on it too. All the skin on this one uh, matches the neck more, which I don't really like because then it, nothing matches the head. But you won't really notice it because the hands are never really close to the head. Unless you make them, which then they will be. For uh, accessories here, more holdable. Come with this nice little monkey wrench. <clears throat> now this is another great accessory to just have because you never know when you could pose somebody using a monkey wrench. Like this would be good for a Jason, someone who kills people with monkey wrenches, a mechanic, who knows. And the paint and detail as always is nice on these. NECA usually goes all the way on everything, accessories and all. And I think it looks very good and it pays off too. Now for one of his last accessories, I guess, he's got the goggles. And I'm really happy that they made these goggles come off and you can put them on either head because I feel like if you only had one expression with the goggles, it would be a little bad. Now, bringing this guy's head back in here and showing you what these goggles do. And this works for both heads. They both go on the same exact way. You just slide the goggles on here and then you grab that, the little strap, and you line it up into the crevice. And then he's wearing the goggles now. And I think it looks really good. And uh, I haven't put taken it on and off that much, but it doesn't seem like it's going to mess up that bad taking it on and off. I would, as always, just say to be careful because you never know what could happen. You could get a bad copy or it could just be an unlucky day and it could break. But they are flexible enough where you can have them up on his forehead or you can have them wearing them. And I think these just make it, this is the extra little step that makes it so much better. I think it just adds that little extra bit. So continuing on now with some more accessories. He comes with paper kind of accessories. There's the piece of paper for the flux capacitor, the drawing. And these can uh, go in his hand too. He can't really hold them the best because they're not very thick. But you know, you can have them sitting there holding it. This is my art project. And I think it looks very good. And if you have uh, like tables that fit figure scale they're great to just throw on there and have them looking at it or something then next we got the super exclusive mail here this one i think looks really good they put a lot of detail on it let me see if we can focus they put a lot of detail on it for not much reason because it's a tiny envelope but there is of course you can see it's got the address and stuff it says uh doc doc something it's too small, I can't read it. It's 1985. And I like how even on the back, they put some texturing and the, what would you call that? The, the flap of the envelope. I think the detail is very good. 
Then for his real last accessory, we've got uh, the blueprint to my house. This looks really good too. I like the the paper it's made of. They're all made of like a well, I wouldn't say rubbery, but more feels like a laminated thick paper, and it makes it so they're not they're very sturdy. And you could even probably roll it up like a real blueprint, but I'm I'm not doing that. This is my exclusive figure. This is this is dangerous to do, but I think it all looks really good. And this one too, if you have this place on a table, you could have him looking over it like he's building some new stuff with his house. Back is just plain, but the front has enough detail to make up for it. All right, so bring in the doctor back in, stirring him up nice. For some comparisons here, we'll bring in some other NECA figures. We'll have my man Jason Voorhees right here. Then we'll put Ghostface next to him too. Ooh. and they again it's just like i say with pretty much every single NECA figure there's not much to say other than they look good together they all have that great fit and now i'm starting to amass a, a very large collection of NECA figures so now all together they look just great and even this doc brown i have more of a like a horror display but even i can throw doc brown in there I could throw like a Ninja Turtle or something. All the NECA stuff just merges together beautifully and they all look good together too. Bring these guys out of the way. And now we'll bring some more random stuff in. We got that man Lefty. And the next review, another NECA figure is the Casey Jones. Well, not, not the Casey Jones. It's the Casey Jones and the Raphael 2-pack. Next review. If... Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta isn't the next one. One of those two. One of those two. But uh, this guy fits great. Again, um, I think he could definitely fit for a more of a just random stuff display. Because everybody knows Doc Brown. Everybody's seen Back to the Future. He's just such a recognizable character. He's like a Jason Voorhees. I think you just put him on there and he'd look good. No matter what. And now onto a more of a different subject. Lefty here. Uh, I went to Walmart, which is where I found this Doc Brown. Uh, they had three pegs of about 47 lefties. So I think they're doing the annual clear out of uh, all the FNAF figures at uh, Walmart and whatever. So if you have a Walmart near you, definitely, and you're looking for lefty, definitely go check it out. Because you could find a boatload of them. All right, back to Doc Brown, though. I'm moving these guys out of the way. For some final thoughts. Ooh. He almost just fell, sorry about that. But for some final thoughts, I think this is a great figure. It might just be that the glass is a little tinted because I got it for $11. But I think even at full price, this figure is 100% worth it. The articulation is good. The paint is great. The, the sculpt, I think, is amazing. Just, just, look, just take a look at this again. If you want another look, take another look. I think it's 100% good. 100% worth it. And if you can find it on discount like I did definitely a purchase so thank you guys so much for watching uh i've been having a lot of fun recording and uh, i'm gonna keep doing it no plans on stopping no 17 month vacation coming soon so thank you guys and i'll see you next time when we do something i don't know